Calamari's on the menu. I thought that was supposed to do things! Indiana Jones! Chocolate rain! Pours down from that large old sewer drain. Chocolate rain. Zombie tadpoles trying to eat my brain. Chocolate rain. Oh God. Oh, there. Darn it. Turn off the music, golly. Don't want to get copyrighted at the very beginning of stream. Happy Easter. Welcome to the show, everybody. Ha ha. Ha. Hey. Hi. Howdy. How's it going? What's up? Welcome. Happy Easter. I got a giant smudge right here on my glasses because if you have ever mixed, I forgot to turn the music on. <laughs> if you've ever mixed your protein in a protein shaker, you know it's got that pop top. When you shake it, it gets milk and protein powder cake at the top of that pop top. And then you, you pop the top and you drink it. I was drinking it this way and that pop top Hit me right here in the lens. So I gotta... tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Over again. Don't need me change my mind. JoJo has played her ring entrance music. The whole audience is taking a back and looking around. Is that JoJo's music? Anyway, I got a big giant protein smudge right here in my, my lens. So I can, I can see you guys through strength and muscle. And mass, I can see you guys through that. Happy Easter, happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to Boomtown. The Night Blades are here and they're ready to hunt. And hunt we shall. Monsters we shall find. Monsters we shall slay. Adventures we shall have. Escape from reality all day. We're playing a horror game called Midnight Monitor. It's not brand spanking new, but it did come out about a week ago. Somehow it flew under my radar. I don't know how that happened. But it is a observation duty game, and it's, it's one of my favorite styles of observation duty, where you have the continuous PT style hallway, and in that PT style hallway, you memorize the hallway, and then something different. But from what I am hearing, the anomalies in this are bizarre and unique, and different, and crazy, and awesome, and all the things they stand out. They're different, and that's what what's what we like here in League of Blades. We stand out. We're different. We're unique. We're awesome. We want our anomalies to be awesome, too. What do I got on my shirt? What is that? Lint? Uh-oh. Man, whatever it is, it's on there forever. What the fuck is that? I cussed on a Sunday. Thank on it! I'm angry! <laughs> if you guys want to support the show, if you want to tribute the League of Blades, Make sure that our battle axes of justice are sharp, that our flannels are pressed, that our beard is moist, powerful, shiny, a beacon of justice. Protein drink? Yeah, it might be. Who knows? <laughs> I'm a messy guy. Very messy guy. Super chats or becoming a blade master yourself. You too can earn a badge inside of your name, but all of YouTube knows. Light the beacon! 
ten dollars from Alan Sears. I hope there's donuts. Is there Donna Scotty? Yeah. Seven dollars from Jared Magic Man Johnson. <laughs> we got a couple of superstars coming through with some tributes. to the League of Blades, to some tribute to the world's greatest group of monster hunting evil slayers you've ever seen. Tributes coming in from Alan Sears, Jared, the Magic Man Johnson. I'm gonna put a spell on you. Thank you guys so much. Did Max have a good Easter? You know those cosmic brownies that you can buy at the store that normally have the little candy nuggets on it. Seven dollars for the dance party. Tribute! Tribute! You're right, Snazzy. You're right. The Blade Beacon's been made stronger by Tribute. Hey, Cody. Let's see who all's answered the blade signal. Let's get our game started. Thank you guys so much for the super chat so far. Thank you guys for being my heroes. Thank you guys. Ten dollars from Jordan Bannon Lady George, who took a nap, got fat on him and mashed potatoes, and now I'm ready to shake some booty and slay some evil. I wouldn't have it any other way. I think that's perfect. I think you're perfect. And that was a perfect way to put it. Thank you so much. Tribute! Tribute been made by the banana lady to the cause of justice. Thank you very much. Banana lady, that's a great nickname. I'll see you answer the blade signal and then we'll start the adventure tonight. Hello, Snazzy. Hello, Manhattan. Hello, Krim. Hello, Cody. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Jared. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Brian. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Alan. Hello, Helen. Hello, George, Tim, Natalie. My tie. Happy Easter. Happy Hard Boiled Egg Day. Thank you, Mike. Hello, David. Hello, Morgan. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Michelle. Cooter Slayer. I love saying that name out loud. <laughs> totally not a cop. Happy Easter, my friend. Hello, Jamie. Hello, Dakota. Hello, Marcelo. Jerry, first comment of the night. Hello, Michael. Hello, Austin. Hello, Tick. Let's see what this game's got in store for us. What do we got? Let's see if it can. Let's see. Let's give it a trial by Blades and see how it does. I guarantee it's not good enough. I guarantee we'll overcome. And we'll do it with style. We'll do it by bumbling. Prepare for the feature presentation. Here we go. On it. Stupid production. Uh, let's see here. All I know is that this game's got some big old dommy muscle mommies, and that just uh, that just gets my motor running. That little dance gives you life. Let's see. You gotta, you gotta turn this cross. <laughs> You guys want to see a grown man struggle? <laughs> you all want to see a grown man struggle to get a drink? Stupid internet. God. Couldn't even get a sip of my whatever I was doing. Stupid. Shut up, me. Time to watch a grown man struggle to get a sip of water. <laughs> what are you on the edge? 
Neanderthal, <laughs> you big bearded buffoon. <laughs> I need to my ass, I swear. Oh, crap. All right. Here we go. Game modifiers. I don't think we have any. Prioritize new anomalies, of course. Shoe selection. Let's do high heels. I don't know what that means, but typical stream. Boy, ain't that the truth. Pretty typical. It's a pretty typical broadcast. Let's do it. The straw guy had one job. Another d boobs. Another DAC to the glue factory. Okay, once again, the premise behind these games are pretty simple. This is a PT-style observation game where we will continue along the path. We will be given a chance to monitor the room, to memorize the things like nine chairs on one side or uh, three potted plants or whatever. And then every time we walk through, we have to determine whether or not there's an anomaly there. If there's an anomaly there, we turn around and go back. We have to get to a certain level of successes in a row to escape, or we stay trapped in this loop forever. <sighs> Away, winch. I don't want to be horny anymore. Ah, keep left. All right. Holy crap. If this is the room, this is a lot. Hmm... Follow the orange line. Continue to platform eight stairs. Turn back if you spot an anomaly. Okay. Ugh. Got some League of Blades music. What's up, Daniel? So that says to platforms. That's got danger of death. Guy gets shot in the chest. All right. Spot it, speak it, survive. Aldercourt supports you. There's no way I'm going to remember all these posters. Good lord, this is intricate. Okay, that says to safety. No smoking sign. I remember boobs, <laughs> boobs, boob, robot, bloody high heels. He cat, my lady. Uh, a kid crying with a sign that says, Are you compassionate? <laughs> Midnight monitor. Oh, boy. And then a water refill station, which they don't have in America. That I, There are water refill stations in America. Don't get me wrong. I don't know where they're at. I only drink out of a well in my backyard. Two fire extinguishers. Also, remember two doors. Oh, the handicap bathroom. Okay. Handicap bathroom. Secure transport authority. Please watch closely for anomalous activity. So remember those red eyes. And I guess that's it. Charlie Steron. You guarantee the fire thing she'll be missing? Absolutely. So this is going to be important. Danger, death, and then get... Ooh. I think I'm looking forward to cracking up. Uh, I hope I can, like, you know, totally crack up. So, uh, I haven't, like, totally cracked up in a long time. ...lost in the labyrinth in the hallways of Alderford Station. Simply return back from when she came. You scared me to death, Jojo. Hey, Jordan, welcome to our show, buddy. ...of a secure transport authority representative... That scared me to death. ...processing and deliverance. That says security office. We have to remember that says security office. It'll take us a few times to go... Yeah, that screwed the hell out of me. It'll take us a few times to get through here. To remember this. You don't think I look like Charlie Theron? Or am I saying her name wrong? Probably saying her name wrong. Here we go. It's official. Level one. Bepis. This is awful. And you guys are really going to think that I am anti-Asian. I'm not. I love Asian culture. I just don't like anime. 
One of my favorite things that's ever happened in my life is I got chicken on a stick at a food truck one time, and the guy said, what would you like to drink? And I said, do you have Coke or Pepsi? And he said, Pepsi, yes. And I said, yes, sir. I would very much like to have one of your best Pepsis. And he said, yes, very good. And then gave me a tall glass of Pepsi. And it may or may not have made my entire year that year. <laughs> Your, here's your tall glass of pissy. Thank you. All right, look for anomalies, dang it. Pay attention. Pissy, yeah, he just didn't, for some reason, because you know how I have an accent. I have a very strong accent. I roll my R's. R's. I don't know why I do that, but I roll my R's. Well, for whatever reason, his accent, he didn't, he didn't hit plurals. Or not plurals. He didn't hit, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to bed. She's walking like her hips. Her, she's shaking her hips so hard. She's trying to break something. All right, no smoking. I right, remember boobs, boob, robot, death shoes, pussy. Do y'all reckon that's an anomaly, or did I do that? Kitty Cat, Compassion, Midnight Monitor. Did I do that? Handicap Stall, Fire Extinguisher, Red Eyes. Huh. I kicked the ball there? Okay, so that was me. Security Office. I think we have no anomalies. But I would like to have a tall glass of Pessy. <laughs> Fire extinguisher. I think we're good. No anomalies. I think. Holy crap, man. I've got so many chicken nugget crumbs on my desk. That looks just like Charlie's Theron. These AI pictures are creepy. I'm not real. Hey, we were right. No anomalies. Let's not kick that ball, Pepsi. Pepsi. Bepis. Do you want to buy my watch? Buy my watch. Am I saying her name wrong? Charlize? <laughs> you know I say archives, right? <laughs> Come on, guys. That light's green. That's an anomaly. I'm smart. Light's green? Agreed. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Love you. Light screen, that's an anomaly. Good catch. Dang. Even a blind nut gets a squirrel every once in a while. That was it. Round three. Bepis. Bepis. I wish all no smoking signs was like that. The world would be a lot cooler. I enjoy that. I enjoy that a lot. That's very cool. Seems normal. I think the world would be... What do you got on your phone? All right. What does she do when she's done? 
A Pong Easter egg? Maybe. Got any games on your phone? I have been playing Marvel Strike Force. I know you didn't ask that about me in particular. You guys know I play Marvel Strike Force. I talk about it every stream. But I play Marvel Strike Force on my phone, and I've been playing AFK Journey, and I am ashamed to admit it, but I have been playing AFK Journey. It's all right. I just like fantasy stuff. And that's a pretty cool little fantasy game. The, the animation on it's really great. I don't know if this is part of the anomaly. Is this part of the play like the playing field? I bet you it is. That's not weird. Remember the other day I was bragging about people who wear they're not always dominatrix, but they they do modeling in leather outfits. I was just bragging about how hard it is to get into a leather outfit. So, hey. You're one of the good ones. Got some interesting moves. That's how I dance. I wonder if that's part of the playing field. If that's, I guess that's considered an anomaly. I think, I think it is. I think we're going to go with it. Boob, boob, robot, death shoes, pussy cat, compassion, security office, water fill, midnight monitor, two fire extinguishers, red eye, two door, elevator door, the safety. Yeah, I think we're going to call that an anomaly. We were correct. I think. Yeah. Bepis. Bepis. Hey, Patson. Yeah, that's pretty crazy looking. That... That might be one of my favorite anomalies I've ever seen before. That's pretty awesome. Okay, it's trying to consume me. <laughs> We're never going to escape. Holy crap! One of the things that has stood out to me... As far as all the shock stuff that I've seen in my life, because you got to imagine working fugitive cases and homicides and uh, drug cases, that fugitive hunts, that I have seen the worst of all there is to see. All these crazy horror games that we've played. And still to this day, the scene, I think it was 13 Ghosts, where the person is in the glass case and they get squished and it shows it... In graphic detail, getting squished in the glass case. <laughs> are reminded to please not consume the passengers. Trains are reminded to please not consume the passengers. All right, we're up to level six. Please disregard this message. Thank you. Please do not consume the passengers. Passenger, disregard this message. Erection. Hey, Jay. 
hot? I just said erection. Erection. <laughs> oh, peace. I don't want to call it an anomaly. I want to call it for a date, but I guess we'll call it an anomaly. Death by Snoo Snoo, that's right. I guess we'll call it an anomaly. What a boob. Level 7. We've not got one wrong yet. Watch this be the time we get something wrong. Bepis. Hmm. Hmm. Was her cuffs always red? I guess they were. Were they? Her cuffs. Oh, crap. I don't think her cuffs were always red. Hmm. Yeah, her shoes were always red. I changed them to red shoes. She's fine? Okay. Boobs, boob. Robot, death shoes, pussy, compassion, midnight monitor, security office, water refill. You believe they were red? All right. Two doors, handicapped bathroom, security center for two of those, the safety, elevator door. They were always red? All right. These eyes. These eyes are crying. These eyes are crying. All right, I think we're good. Wait. I don't think both of those signs always said keep left. Hey, Christian. They did both say keep left? They did both say keep left. All right. If we go backwards, I'm going to rage fit. And blame all of you. What does that say? What does that say? It says zero. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means we're back to square one. That means that we lost. Secret tunnel. Secret, 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 secret tunnel, yeah. Daddy can't stay mad at you. I can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah! Passengers, sir, please ask to have a fantastic day and a great time when traveling through... <laughs> All right, I'm pissed off again. <laughs> hey, Parker. <laughs> I'm pissed again. I was good, and now I'm pissed again. Her cuffs are red. I told you guys they were white. I told you guys. That's what got us. Her damn cuff colors. That's what. No, 
Now from the top, make it drop, that's somewhere Now get a bucket and a mop, that's somewhere I'm talking wop, wop, wop <laughs> I'm not a fashion expert <laughs> What's the, What color's got to do with fashion? Them cufflinks was red it Ain't none of my business I don't do fashion <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, none of my business. I don't do fashion. I said, was this red or white? Uh huh. Ugh! What color is my underwear? Trick question. You're not wearing underwear. Something seems off. Hello, Brenda. Boobs, boob, robot, death shoes, kitty cat, compassion, midnight monitor, security office, to safety, two doors. Uh... Elevator, double keep left. Red eyes. I think this room is good. Fire extinguishers? What about them? Now from the top, make it drop this, I swear. Oh, you didn't see the fire extinguishers? Oh, you just missed them because you weren't you didn't see them. Not because they're not there. I got you. From the top, make it drop the software. Get a map and a bucket the software. We were gonna win this game, and then you guys didn't notice the red cuff links. Bepsy. Wait! There's a wet floor sign. Hit it! <laughs> That's how I go through my life. Never phased. Just getting hit in the face by people's balls. Never phased. <laughs> <laughs> Rocked her world. All the cars are successful and secure transport authority. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, buckle some more. Five, six, Nike kicks. She didn't flinch. That's an anomaly. I've been hit in the face and didn't realize I was hit in the face till a couple of seconds after it happened. Brilliant. All right, that was an anomaly. We're good. Bepis. One of these days, that Bepis ain't going to be there, and we're going to know. Hit! Wait a second. This room counts, chat. Uh. Am I? Am I floating, or is the world floating? This room counts, by the way. I didn't know that. I thought only this hallway counted. Does that say Cockatron? It does. Cockatron. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. Come join the fun, yeah. The Cockatron. Boobs, boob, robot, death shoes, kitty cat, compassion, midnight monitor, double fire extinguisher, double door, handicap, water refill, security office. Is 
double keep left. I got a bad feeling that it's got something to do with that room right there, but we're going to make it drop. Is this here one of those something as a changed recently games? Yeah. It was a room with a Not anatomy, anomaly. Get, get out. Yeah, what it is, anomaly. It had nothing to do with this, by the way. And I am got a weird breathing motion. Cockatron! We just watched that young lady get Thanos snapped out of existence, which was badass. And if passengers spot something non-Euclidean in nature, Older Court City Council official citizen advice is to hope that it has not spotted you. Pray to whichever god you personally believe in, and ask how it could allow such perversion of nature to exist. Hello, Marlo. All right, she got Thanos snapped out of existence. That was pretty cool. Uh, from the top, make the drop. Just I swear, baby. It's ya. Well, if you want to laugh, I got a part-time job as a Minecraft plugin developer. Carl, teach me code so I can do cool shit like that. It's about you think that's worth laughing? Let me tell you what I listened to today while I was cooking. Her hair changes color? You cook things? I cook every night. I love to cook. Love cooking. It's like mowing the yard for me. You love a good piano? This is the Minecraft soundtrack. I was listening to the Minecraft soundtrack tonight while I was cooking. I like to have a glass of wine, wear an apron with no clothes on, and cook in the kitchen. And if you talk while I cook, I hit you in the face with an apple. That poster doesn't look good. Love the, sound the soundtrack Minecraft? Yeah, me too. 
Minecraft with your kids. Minecraft with anybody is just fun. There's there is something. It's, again, it's like mowing the yard or cooking. Minecraft. It's kind of like power wash, where there's a great satisfaction in building. If you're into the freeze, like the freeze. Hey, Scotty. Hey. I want to fuck you up the ass. You can stick it up your own asshole. <laughs> I would if I could, bitch. Welcome back, Shayla. Apple slap. Did the poster right before the fire extinguisher change? That one should be Midnight Madness. Or Midnight Monitor, I mean. That one's different. Good. Good catch. Quick personal plug. I'm on the Lotus 8 MC dev team. I don't care what you're on. You're going to mentor me. You've done agree to it. I've screenshotted it. You're in. It's a Blades Murray future. You're going to mentor me. Could passenger Seymour Butts please come to the customer service desk? I repeat, can passenger Seymour Butts please come to the customer service desk? Thank passenger you. Seymour Butts? <laughs> I just pictured Scotty on a ride in lawnmower yelling, I'm cooking now. <laughs> a glass of wine in one hand and a spatula in the other wearing nothing but an apron. <laughs> I'm cooking now. <laughs> you know I would. Good catch on the poster. Well done. Good news, everyone. I actually don't mind losing and going back to the beginning. I really like these anomaly games. I really like spotting the new anomaly each time through. Hey, you! You need to see Seymour butt? That was pretty funny. It makes you feel smart. It's like having a puzzle without having to do a dumbass puzzle. Because I'm really good at matchmaking games. I'm really good at matchmaking. That's right, folks. Welcome to Only Blades, or Only Flannel, where you can find your true love right here. Tribute! The Blade! $9.99 for Maytay. Calling her, can freely calling him with Jabrum. Papa's the king of Honey Pop. I did play Honey Pop too. I, I played Honey Pop too a lot. Tribute! The Blade Beacon has been lit. The broadcast is that much stronger. Thank you so much for the tribute, Ted. Thank you. For supporting the cause of justice. Thank you. For the tribute. Thank you for the $10 super chat. <laughs> All right. That's an anomaly. That's an anomalous. I just found out cockfighting was done with roosters. Six months of training, out the door. No straw in it. Do you know why I use a straw and I don't normally drink out of a cup? My womb broom. I don't like it constantly being wet. I don't like it smelling like what I drank earlier. So drinking with a straw allows me to not get a wet mustache, a stinky mustache. I mean, it doesn't like reek. It just, if you drink a protein shake, you're gonna smell protein in your beard for the rest of the day. So I like straws. Level three, Bepis. 
You have mustache. Do you use a straw when you cockfight? Listen, buddy. The only thing my cock does is find a hole. And that... Forget it. Gakadron. This music's very good. It ain't Minecraft good, but it's good. From what I understand, Carl, you can code without having to go to college. And then you can get hired doing a job coding without having to have any actual previous experience. I just want to, I just want to make a game. I want to prove to all these indie game developers that I can do it. <laughs> Take that, indie game developers. All right. Uh, boobs. Boob. Robot. Death shoes. Key cat. Sad compassion face. Midnight monitor. Tribute! Four dollars ninety nine cents from Carl Murray. Tomorrow starts my favorite month of the year. Tomorrow is my eight year anniversary, and starts Autism Awareness Month. April's gonna be a fantastic month. I'm excited for you, buddy. Thank you for that tribute to the League of Blades. You can start with an RPG maker. I would freaking love that, Davis. RPG is my favorite type of game. And I love storytelling, and I love building worlds, and I would absolutely love to do an RPG. I want to play a game. I don't know how it would go over with the League of Blades, but I want to play a game called, I think it's called Dread and Hunger. Brian probably knows, because Brian's pretty smart. It's a, not a two-bit, an, an Pain and Hunger? You want me to buy something from your stream, Krim? Ooh. My stream's on sale right now. <laughs> Enjoy my stream. Hello, Bernie. What am I playing? Oh, I'm playing a Anomaly Watch game. Do you think we should scan that? We're scanning it. We're scanning it. We're scanning it. It's it's uh it's UK. No anomalies. Based off the Book of Blades, randomness? I think so, too. I think we can make a, a fantastic game. And then we should enter it in some gaming competition and spread some justice. Ugh! Boobs, boob, robot. Those shoes are different. Hey, how's it going? Shoes are different. I'm the manliest hero on the internet, which means I'm stupid. How did you find that blurb? That's Shayla's blurb. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Fun fact. Butter makes your pants fall. I'm about to go down to Taco Bell and give me a blast. Man, I've not had Taco Bell in so long. I want it. Scotty, make a game and prove to indie developers that you can make a scary game without using the same assets every time. I am a firm believer in leading from the front and practicing what you preach. So, 
I'm not the kind of person to stand out here and be like, we gotta, we gotta make changes to this, and why don't they change that, and how come nobody's doing this? And I don't do that. I just go do it. So my absolute borderline hatred of indie horror games right now, I could be the change that sparks a new wave or genre or something. So instead of like sitting up here and going, why well, these games are all the same. Why don't they do something different? Go do something different. Bada bing, bada boom. Scott of the Vanguard Blades. I was so pumped up, I did double salutes. We want Dak. Who's we? <laughs> Does not compute excruciating pain. I'm trapped in here forever. Hot dogs rule. There you go. Bepis. Yep. Yep. Alder Court City Council stands by the common belief that the first nine to ten seasons of The Simpsons were the best, and that everything after that is a wee bit shit. A wee bit shit. He said seasons one through... This guy must be a big Simpsons fan, because he said, I see more butts. And he just mentioned The Simpsons, so this guy must be a big Simpsons fan. I think we'd get along. Boobs, boo, robot, shoes, geek at, uh, compassionate midnight monitor. Actually, this room is clean. Water. Nope. By order of Her Majesty Quan. No entry. Under any circum circumstances, trespassers will be effing killed. That includes you, Jesse. Jesse! That includes you, Jesse! I don't know who Jesse is, but he best not be messing around. We ever found DAC 420? DAC 420 was supposed to turn into a character called the Puzzler that Andy Cox from Biohazard to Classify was going to play and then just our schedules never worked out and that character never got developed. We had a whole big story arc playing together. Mm, soccer ball, that's an anomaly. Hello, Eric. Is this a new, a new update for the game? This is... A new anomaly horror game called Midnight Mass Albatross. And it's a lot like Exit 8, but it's its own independent game. Bepis. Yep! I reckon a soccer ball would be an anomaly. There's a lot going on in this room. Is that a net? That is a net. Did I not score? Oh no, come back! Oh well. I don't want to go in there and reset the, the level. I really wanted to score that bucket. If you get a gold horn, I'm trying. <laughs> Jesse, we gotta cook some meth. It's about that Thank you, but right. Hey, hey, hey! Shower me in your affection. Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given 
given us the green light for the virtuous mission. I don't know what that means. What? I got so distracted by that dumb soccer ball that I forgot to turn around and go the other way. And I reset all my progress. I think we're on floor seven. And I was so focused with that stupid soccer ball that when I kicked it and was showered with affection, I just kept walking straight and reset all of our progress. Damn it, Blades! Yeah, I know. Is this the never-ending subway tunnel? Sure. You pick your nose hairs with flyers? Yeah, man. You see how thick this is? You see how thick that is? You see how thick that is? You see how thick that is? Yeah, I absolutely gotta pick my boogers with pliers. 100%. Wrong button. You know that soccer? I did. It's always about, there's so many chicken nuggets. Chicken nugget dust on my mouse pad. So much. Bepis. Ugh. Yeah. I don't mind messing up. It doesn't bother me whatsoever because there's supposed to be a bunch of anomalies in this. And I don't even think we've even seen the crazy point. <laughs> Now I know what a toilet feels like when I flush my hanky panky napkins. Damn it. You got some new beard oil today from Fable? Fable's got good stuff. That's what I use. Something's wrong here. Something's wrong here. I don't know what it is, but something's wrong here. Maybe not. The first poster is wrong. Check Cockatron. Oh, it's too big. Right?
Beppe. Well done. Well done. Good catch. I'm really good at soccer. I'm way more Mexican than that Mexican guy is. Boobs, boob, robot, death shoes. <laughs> what a beautiful picture. Ah! Uh, compassionate, midnight monitor, two fire extinguishers. And don't forget, please pish and shit responsibly. Thank you for attending the Secure Transport Authority. I like my steak well done, unless I'm in public. Please piss. Last night's movie, I stuck it in a hole. What's up, Era Blue Knight? Welcome to the adventure. Use the three seashells. Only cool people get that joke. Only cool people get used the three she shares. I don't know why I have a hard time saying she shares. <laughs> what game is this? Oh! This game's called Midnight Mass Albatross. And if you've ever seen the game Exit 8, this is a PT-inspired game where you continue down a loop and during that loop, you have to spot anomalies. Number three. Did you make that up? Midnight Monitor Alder Court. There you go. I was pretty close. I was pretty close. <laughs> Mid midnight Monitor Aldecourt. It's in the title if you want it exactly. I was pretty close though. Midnight Mass <laughs> Albatross. I was pretty close. <laughs> Something's wrong. The water thing is missing. There's no water thing there. You like Midnight Mass Albatross? I could not remember the name of that game to save my life. All it says on my uh, task manager is it says Food Court 2. Is this like a fan-made Exit 8? Yes. Exactly like that. Boop. Did she drop her phone? No. Boop. Bye, Charlie's there on. Hello, Giga Chad. To the platform. Bepis. How do you know when there's an anomaly? Oh, you'll know. You memorize the rooms, and then when you come through here and the rooms are different, that's how you know there's an anomaly.
It's called entertainment, Blue Knight. That's, that's what it's called. <laughs> this looks fun. It is. My noodle is wet. <laughs> Get drained. Throw something at him? I wish I could. You can't touch this. Uh oh. What if I can't get back? Order 66. Scotty, you dang jack wagon. <laughs> I just wanted to prove that I could do it. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? in the corner okay darn it darn it doodle bop <laughs> stop it get some help <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ah, frick! Ah. Well. Whatever, man. Whisker biscuits. That's all I got to say. Stop. Get some help. We're on a roll. We are. You gotta dance your way through. I used to know that entire dance. Me and Matt used to do that dance. Oh man, we're huge fans of. I forget that guy's name. Sai. We're huge fans of Sai. God, he hates Americans. That whilst there are bad things happening in the world right now, to not bring them into the confines of all the court stations, lest they are made mad. If I ever sing at your wedding, that's exactly the experience you're going to get. You're going to get the Scottish experience. I never do anything the right way. I do it the Scotty Blades way. Mr. Whisker Biscuits, you do have a personality. Which one of the ladies wants to marry me so we have Scotty singing her wedding? Scotty's for Narnia. I don't think Blue Knight lasted very long. Why is this guy doing this stuff? Why is this guy walking forward and not backward? Why is this called a horror game? Why is this guy laughing? Why is this guy singing? What is going on in this game? How many days does it take for you to teach your cat to dance like that? Seven? Seven. Oh shit, I about messed I made Batman boo boos. <laughs> Arnold's my hero, man. But I think he's officially retired from acting. Why does Scotty have a beard? One of my friends last night, get this. Lifelong friend. Been friends with this man since we were wee little blades made a comment and he didn't he didn't mean for it to be i'm ballsy i don't take no shit from anyone i smoke my stogie anywhere i want i don't have to find a hideout place like you <laughs> lots of roasting going on this is a pretty standard show <laughs> it's all in good fun it's just this is a good place to escape and goof off. What I was trying to say before somebody was hiding and smoking a stogie, he last night said that... I don't remember. Let's get some pussy tonight. Thank you, Ted. Let 
let me in, I'm trying to fuck. Let me in, I'm trying to fuck. Oh, he said that that guy's beard looked so fake. So fake, it looked like mine. He was talking about another dude. He said, that guy's beard looked so fake on him, it looked like Scotty's. It looked like somebody painted it on. My best friend said that he God thinks... Damn it, no! I think the game's broke. The Velcro beard. He said He said that this dude that was trying to get into the prison that he worked at had a beard so fake that it looked like mine, like it was painted on. How could you? How could you? I think the game's broke. Then he mysteriously fell off a roof. Funny. Never buy a beard off a of Scott Tenement. Lick, lick, lick my balls! <laughs> yeah! Alright, so the game's broke. That blows. Come in! <laughs> wonder how many anomalies we got. I did break another game. You're right. I did break another game. Can your lady friend see when you shrunk? Can't concentrate with these shoes. Yeah, I think either it changed my height or the game still broke. There is no escape. All right, that's an anomaly. There is no escape. <laughs> there is no escape. the cousins of the guy in Kung Pao. My name is Wimblow. <laughs> it treated me wrong on purpose. How do you like your foot to my face technique? Ah, nice. 
You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Easily one of my top five favorite actors. I freaking love Gene Wilder. I love his crazy, over-the-top antics. I love his dry wit and sense of humor. God, I love Gene Wilder. Still to this day, one of my favorite movies is See No Evil, Hear No Evil. Yeah, young Bing, 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 bong. China. Bing, bing, bong. Obamacare. Bing, 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 bong. Bong, bong, bong. Young Frankenstein. Blazing Saddles. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. He's Willy Wonka. I don't care how many Willy Wonkas that they release. There will never be another Willy quite as awesome as his Willy. Stir crazy? Yeah. Haunted Honeymoon? I don't remember Haunted Honeymoon. Sounds like I would like it, though. Yeah, I hated Johnny Depp. Wow. That was uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. That was not creepy. Shoo. Your boyfriend, Kevin? And secure transport authority, please ask the passengers make their way to their designated platform as quickly and as efficiently as possible. I'm thinking this room is clean. Security office. The air just cut on here in my office. Boy, it feels good. Two of those creepy things said ice. Was we the third one to say, baby? There, you know what's creepier than what we just saw? Bald, 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 bald. So just chill out. Bald. Bald. Right. Drink a seven up. Right. Eat a moon right. pie. What have you got to lose? Quit murdering people. Let's cut it out. We were right. No ceiling sign, Scotty, stop. No, we're good. We're good. There should be two ceiling signs. That one ceiling sign was extra. The one that we saw earlier that said, there's no return, you can't escape, that was an extra sign. Yeah. Look at Papa being smart.
Thank you guys for all the blurps. If you've not done so yet, don't forget to like the stream. And also, thank you to everybody who has sent tribute on tonight's adventure to supercharge the broadcast. I want to thank my heroes who supported the show. Carl Murray, Mai Tai, Hey Lona, Jolene Banana Lady George, Natalie, Jared Magic Man Johnson, Alan Sears. Thank you all so much. A broken clock is right twice a day. Yeah. Coming from somebody whose name was Brenda three times. Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> so that poster is different. He's got a clown mask this time, and that normally isn't a clown. This game's so much fun. It's, these games are always a blast. Tribute. Yeah. Yeah. I love synthwave music. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> Does she get shorter or do I get taller? $4.99 from Nick Van Sice. Glad I made it this late on a sharp Sunday. Hey, my friend, thank you for answering the blade signal. Thanks for joining our adventure tonight. And thanks for bringing tribute to the League of Blades. Thanks for supporting some justice. Thank you for the five bones. Good to have you. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter, everybody. Thanks for joining our broadcast tonight. It's good to have you. Let's find out. Hmm. Let's find out. We'll kick the ball all the way around and find out. I think there's not... I don't think that there is an anomaly. There is no Easter Bunny... There is no Tooth Fairy, Shit. and there is no Queen of England. That's a weird one about the Queen. Marcelo. Being somebody else's hero here in the community. As gifted a membership, let us welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Janake Helkvest. Thank you very much, Marcelo. So the ball disappears. I did try to kick it all the way around the game, and then the ball ends up disappearing. I think she's only been different one time so far. I love that her hair is different colors. It's about dang time! She got different color hair, different color hair, different color hair, different color hair, da boom, boom, boom. I don't know what anomaly we missed last time.
feeling pretty good about this one. There, we have not had a single run tonight where there's not been an anomaly two times in a row. But I'm not seeing anything. So I'm not thinking that it's an, 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 an anomaly. Unless there's something creeping that picture again. You don't see anything? I don't either. I think we're good. I think we're Gucci. Yep, we were. That one was clean. Breaks game. You like those shoes? Her shoes? On the girl that's wandering around? Wait a second. She's not walking on the track like normal. Doesn't she normally stay on the track? The yellow brick? This is what it's like to be me every day. Ladies, please. I'm just trying to get gas. What do you mean I got to get my perception skill? Did I not get a couple of these tonight that nobody else saw? Huh? Take her to the security room? Don't you freaking wink at me. <laughs> Make sure she's not smuggling anything. Do a full cavity search, Scotty. Soccer ball. Now, remember this wasn't an anomaly last time. Somehow. Oh, no, it was. It was an anomaly, but I kept on walking forward like an idiot. The ball is normally yellow. Yep. And all the balls were yellow. Look at the spot. The car was hard on you. And all the things to do. I had a dog named Yeller. Scott is out there strutting through town <laughs> like Toby McGuire after he gets the venom suit. You know what's crazy about the past? You know what's crazy about the past? The third Spider-Man movie and Tobey Maguire for the most part was not thought upon super duper fondly as a great Spider-Man. First couple movies were all right. Pretty good actually. But the third movie was kind of shat on and it kind of tarnished his legacy as Spider-Man. Same thing with the original prequels. I shouldn't say the original prequels, the prequels of Star Wars with Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor. They've even talked about it in interviews about how shunned and outcast they felt with the public perception that they thought the movie had. And then 20 years down the road, we all look back fondly. I look back very fondly on Spider-Man 3 and the Venom thing and him doing the dance. I look back very fondly on the prequels and Hayden Christensen's terrible, awful, yucky, stiff, cardboard acting that he did as Anakin. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. Anything else want to break while I'm in here? Can she get through that? You never disliked them? I didn't dislike Attack of the Clones. I thought Attack of the Clones was freaking fantastic. I did I I did like three. I'm a huge Dooku fan. I think Dooku is 
probably my favorite Sith Lord in Star Wars canon and extended universe. I just love Dooku. And they did Dooku dirty in the third movie. Did him real dirty. And I didn't like how they handled it. But nobody can... Like, the duel of fates between Anakin and Obi-Wan is still the best lightsaber fight in any Star Wars media at all. You like Christopher Lee? I do too. Christopher Lee was 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 Dooku. Like that's the perfect person to show Dooku on the big screen. They just I read all of the books for Star Wars. And Revenge of the Sith is a fantastic book. And the fight between Anakin and Dooku takes place over four chapters in the book. And it's this delicate balance of raw fury versus Passengers are veteran technique and experience. And... So that you don't go causing all kinds of trouble for your fellow passengers. If you want someone to trip over a wee banana peel or something stupid like that, well then you're just not a very nice person. You're a wee bit of a fanny. Thank you for listening. How Dooku could have easily just went and wiped Anakin off the face of the battlefield through Sith side, like Sith dark side powers, but he didn't because it was an ego thing where Anakin was considered one of the best blade masters in the entire Jedi Order up against Dooku, who at one time and still is considered one of the best duelists. Dueling was kind of his thing, so he wanted... It was an ego thing, but he was well past his prime, and it was, it was a whole big, intricate fight. You lost interest in Star Wars 1, 2, and 3? That's what we're talking about. Everybody's allowed to have their opinion on whatever they like, whatever they don't like. I like them. I look back very fondly on the prequels. Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn, Jar Jar Binks, Padme, Sidious, Anakin, Obi-Wan. They were all fantastic. We killed them all. Every last one of them. Women and children. Calm down, you big crybaby. Got them all. Now do it again. Hey, Jen. Darth Jar Jar? That's a very good conspiracy that Jar Jar was the man pulling all the strings. Me to give total control of the Senate <laughs> to Emperor Papatine. <laughs> We saw Big Jojo now! That alien farted. Yeah, the new Star Wars movies are atrocious. Absolutely. Shit. They're pure shit. I didn't want to cuss on a Sunday, especially on Easter, but that's just the best way to describe the new Star Wars movies to me as a Star Wars fan. I hated them. Such wasted potential for Rey, such wasted potential for Kylo, such wasted potential for both those new characters. Such a weird and awful way to write Luke and Han, Leia. It's just all of it was just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Hated every second of it. Yep. Miss a flop for you! Christopher Lee had to have one of the most impressive resumes of all time. Yeah, he was Dracula. He was, uh, shoot. He was Dracula. He was Dooku. He was Saruman. He was in the movie The Howling, where he got to see 
Sybil Dannon's boobs. And Sybil Dannon made out with him, which was pretty awesome. He sang in a metal band? Did he really? Dang, Christopher Lee. They did mail it in. <clears throat> Nobody's a bigger Mary Sue than Luke. What are you? What are you talking about? Luke brought down the most powerful threat in the history of the Force. Luke took down the Chosen One. Luke redeemed Anakin, brought him back to the good side. And he did it all by himself. He didn't have Jedi Council. He didn't. He had Obi Wan for like what? Like you said, two weeks. He had Yoder for two weeks. Most of the training that he did was just all up in here. That's true, Tatiana. Kylo shouldn't have. Oh, I don't know. After two weeks of training that he quit in the middle of after starting 13 years too late. And he kissed his sister. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys got it out for my boy. Never mind Chris Lee's wartime stuff. Okay. I agree. Hear me out. I think Christopher Lee was just a little bit full of himself. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot. But I think he was full of himself just a little bit. That's not what a man sounds like when you take a knife and put it through his lungs. It sounds more like this. <sighs> How do I know? Because I took a knife and drove it betwixt his lower rib into his lung while blood filled his diaphragm. And I watched the life leave his eyes. All right, uh, that's that's fine, Chris. We just need you to, to do wizard shit, okay? Just do wizard shit. Mm. He was too full of himself. I did not say too full of himself. I said a wee bit full of himself. I did not say too full of himself. That's all you need to know, guys. No matter how great your career is, all it takes is one thing to ruin it. And you're looking at it. But he got to kiss Sybil Dannon, which is pretty great. Good for him. He did look 70 for the last 30 years of his life. <laughs> 40 years, yeah. That's all you need to know. That, this is him trying to blend in. Yeah, he got to kiss her. Liver warts and all.
We're going forward. I don't see nothing that makes you think anomaly. I ran a fine tooth freaking comb over that place. And I didn't see a god dang anomaly. People age quicker? Have you guys seen the PR release that they're doing for Ghostbusters? How young Ernie Hudson looks? And he's 78? You didn't see anything in it? I didn't either. I poured over it. Ernie Hudson looks fantastic. Ernie Hudson looks like he dipped himself in the fountain of youth and came out. His skin's smooth and he looks like he's in really, really good shape. Really good shape. Hair is full and healthy. Great smile. Looks like Ernie's not aged a day since he was in the Ghostbusters movie 40 years ago. Whereas Bill Murray, bless his heart, looks like death warmed over. Dan Aykroyd, golly, Dan Aykroyd. Yo. Especially Bill Murray. Bill Murray's aged awfully. Maybe the light bulb was a different wattage. Haha. Uh -huh. I knew this would eventually do something. I say anal molly. We gotta beat this game. Bill Murray looks like he could be he could have played a ghost. He looked perfect in his role in Zombieland. Like he, he had the zombie makeup. I'm sure they didn't put a whole lot on him. He just looks he looks tired. She always that loud? You don't see yourself in the mirror in the hallway? I guess the game's character has no time for self-reflection. Ha! <laughs> self-reflection. Rewando! Sorry, my phone auto-corrected to my stepbrother. What you been watching, Jen? Oh, no, stepbro. Gotta keep it hot. Gotta keep it fresh. Oh, no, stepbro. We're good. Yep, we're good. I have seen so many interviews of Bill Murray saying he can't stand Ghostbusters. And that he would never be on one ever again. Guess when you need money, you'll do anything. Hentai just like you. They know how to draw the human anatomy in such a way to make your mouth salivate. <laughs> Passengers are reminded that our senior appreciation event begins in two weeks and will feature a wide array of activities and festivities for senior passengers and their loved ones, including the Cupcake Fair, Denture Contemplation, our award-winning Death Acceptance Seminar, Bingo Bonanza, Perpetual spirit enrollment and mini golf. Senior passengers are also encouraged to leave a contribution to Aldercourt City Council in their will, should they be chosen to choose to do so. Thank you. 
denture. Bill Murray is a is a an odd cat. Bill Murray has generally, with the exception of one man, and that's Wes Anderson, I think is his name, that he works with all the time. With the exception of Wes Anderson? Or is that Wes Anderson, the guy that directed the Resident Evil movies? Whoever that director is that he's worked with, like on A Life Aquatic with Steve Zizow and the Royal Tenenbaums and those other movies, Bill Murray generally has a distaste for most of his career and it's weird but I, I just can't tell with Bill because you know he's always so dry and aloof and just doesn't care about anything I just don't know if he's messing around because you know that's kind of his brand is that just kind of whatever dry aloof doesn't care something strange in the neighborhood who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! Something weird and it don't look good. Apathetic? You're pathetic. <laughs> That's what happens whenever somebody doesn't know the word that you're using because it's big, so they, <laughs> they just insult you because they don't know what's going on. I'm not pathetic. You're pathetic. But generally speaking, from what... <laughs> Rude. Hey, Peepie. Generally, generally speaking, he seems to be... A lot of his co-stars talk about, like, just hating his guts. He's hard to work with. But at the same time, in public, he's, like, one of the coolest people in the world to be around in public. He'll show up and he'll serve drinks at your wedding. At, a, at the bar he'll DJ your party he'll, he just does random weird stuff just shows up at golfs and random golf places but one of my least favorite stories about Bill Murray was he hired a deaf person to be his assistant and he sat her down and said you only have one job and that's to answer the phone she can't hear so she never answered the phone she can't hear what a jerk thing to do also he's famous for having that 1-800 number he doesn't have an agent you can call his 1-800 number to try to get a hold of him for a movie and he may or may not return your phone call if he ever checks his 1-800 number yeah an actual story If I had something supernatural going on, I'd call Scotty. He'd know exactly what to do or what not to do. Oh, either way, we're going to have fun. No matter what happens, if I show up, whether we get rid of the ghost or we end up attracting more ghosts, we're going to have fun. It wasn't you? Hit him up, Shayla. That's such a mean thing to do. Mean-spirited. Throw salt, swing iron. I also know that him and Steve Martin hated each other. And I have met Steve Martin, and Steve Martin is, is genuinely one of the nicest freaking people ever. I mean, he went out of his way to hang out with Max. He went out of his way to hang out with my teammates. Just a super duper nice guy. An absolute stand-up dude. Chevy Chase hated him too. Hated Steve Martin or hated... I think everybody hates che Chevy Chase. Steve Martin's another top five for you. Steve Martin is just an, is a wonderful human being. He He's fantastic. I, I absolutely love Steve Martin. You know how they say, don't meet your heroes? He's not the... like. Steve, uh, Steve Martin was the guy from Naked Gun? No, that's Leslie Nielsen. I would have loved to have met Leslie Nielsen. Naked gun. Airplane. 
crap, what's that vampire movie he's in? Dracula Dead and Loving It. His style of comedy is very much my style of comedy. An anomaly got the better of you? That killed me? What? Most of his life, Leslie Nielsen did serious drama. Yeah. Yep. A lot of uh, cowboy. A lot of western. Yep. But Steve, uh, Steve Martin, fantastic dude. Steve Martin is in one of my favorite holiday movies. I quote it on this show all the time. He's from um, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And I say it all the time on the show, You're messing with the wrong guy! You're messing with the wrong guy. Okay. We did get killed by a Russian sex bot. You're messing with the wrong guy. Him and John Candy were... <laughs> What's up, Tom? Liam Neeson doing Naked Gun should be interesting. I think Liam Neeson can be funny when he wants to be. I'm interested to see how they pull it off. I'm just, a, I'm lukewarm when it comes to Liam Neeson. I think he found a role that he was successful in and he beat it into the ground and made like 30 Taken movies and only a couple of them were any good. And the other, A Walk Among the Tombstones is fantastic. I will give him that. Liam Neeson was funny as fuck in Million Ways to Die. I'm not seeing that. I, oh fuck, I think I'll have to watch that movie. That movie came out during my burnout phase of Family Guy, where I was just sick and tired of seeing Seth Rogen everywhere. But that phase is coming gone, and I'm back to watching American Dad pretty religiously, so I have to check that movie out. Alien. It came out right during my burnout phase, but I'll, I can check it out now. That was a long time ago. I heard Orville's fantastic. They keep renewing it from season... Like, they, there's nothing there. They keep renewing the seasons. You'll never get tired of Family Guy? I do. I, But that's just me. And I, like, I religiously watched Adult Swim. Adult Swim. Because I used to go to school during the daytime and I'd work. I was a dishwasher at a, uh, a sandwich restaurant. So I would go to school all day long and then dishwash at night. And I would get off at about 9 or 9.30 and I would fly home absolutely book it because I tried to catch Futurama in that 10 or from the 9 to 10 block where they played it for an hour and then I, I think it was 9 to 10 or it was 10 to 11 was an hour at Futurama and then 11 to 12 was an hour of Family Guy and that's what put me to sleep every night was Futurama and Family Guy so I always went to sleep lucky there's a Family Guy in the background. I tried to fall asleep before the anime stuff came on because, you know, I'm not a big anime guy. I knew I was awake too long if I was still awake at midnight when the anime was on. Futurama's fantastic. Passengers are reminded that if they play this game, Midnight Monitor Old Accord, on a Steam Deck, a Steam Deck will spawn on the seats underneath the timeline. Thank you. You're welcome. Wash my dishes, Daddy. <laughs> I'll wash them. I'll wash them good. I don't think we have any anomalies here. I can't believe we've been playing this for two hours and I have yet to find, or I have yet to beat the game. 
We've gotten to level 7 twice. I read that as boobs burgers. You know what a boob burger is? When you're lactating, you get a little yellow crust ball at the end of your nip. <laughs> Did you embarrass yourself? No, I got sick. That was absolute improv. I said the first thing that come to mind that made me absolutely sick. Unsubscribes. <laughs> we had some new people come in tonight that couldn't figure out how, you know, this whole community interaction thing worked. Why is he talking to us? Unsubscribes. Why does he keep making jokes? Unsubscribes. What are all these alerts that keep popping up on the screen? Unsubscribes. Trust me, there's a lot of crazier shit that goes on on the internet than what goes on on this show. I promise. I am getting shorter again. This glitch is really pissing me off. Maybe the room's getting bigger. I think it's just a glitch. Wow, they actually animated her. This is as fast as I can go. as fast as I can go. Never mind. We're back, baby! That's what I say every time I manage to get an erection after 35. We're back, baby! He called me baby. Yeah. Passengers are asked to read the timeline if they are waiting a long time for a train. We are very proud of everything that Boulder Court was, is, and shall become. Well, that ain't right. There's a knob in the middle of that door. Just like what's her name's forehead titties. Forehead titties. The chick that played Raz Agul's daughter, Talia Agul, did a terrible job. I just don't like her as an actress. Although she was pretty good in public enemies. So you're my girl. I'm your girl, Johnny. Marion Colliard, yeah, she's really good at straining nudes, noodles, noodles. I just got done reading about all the people Bill Murray was an asshole to, so Bill Murray is an asshole. He's been an asshole to a lot of people. How many stories did you find about Steve Martin? None. He's a pure soul. 
Stevie, 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 a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's a jerk. Funny, though. They say comedy comes from a lot of pain. I don't see any anomalies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my new favorite sticker. Okay. I wish fake Jerry would either play the fucking WWE 2K24 or shut it the hell down. He's uploaded that dumbass game 14 times as we've been starting the stream. Figure it out. Or go home. I guess we're good. I don't see any anomalies. Marlon Brando in his later years was the king of intolerable actors. I heard Marlon Brando was tough. I heard Jack Nicholson was an incredibly kind human outside of working. But when he was working, he was an absolute nightmare to work with because he would method act and he would never break character throughout, you know, the Jim Carrey did the same thing and it really pissed a lot of people off. But uh Jack Nicholson did it. Jack Nicholson's a great guy outside of acting in the acting thing. Like, what's her name? Who starred with him in The Shining and was scared to death of him. The Convinced he was going to kill her. Two, three, four, Adam Sandler's Seven, pure, yeah. And eight is coming in sideways. Passengers are asked to please move out of the way of the oncoming train at risk of great personal injury. Shelly Duvall, Thank yeah. You. Ernie Hudson looks great. Who else have I heard? Uh, I've heard from everybody, everybody, like I have personal connections, that Dustin Hoffman is just, and Sean Penn, I've heard that Dustin Hoffman and Sean Penn both are just absolute assholes. Uppity assholes. I've not seen his new film, but I heard it's good. The fire extinguishers are missing. You know who's a nice guy in real life? That Scotty Blades guy from Signs. Speaking of Signs, I break it. Speaking of Signs, I made something for the stream today and I forgot to... Forgot to do it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. You know who else is nice in real life? That Scotty Blades guy from Signs. Uh, Darn it!
Oh, I didn't know it kept playing. Hang on, I'll fix it. Hang on. Adam Sandler's actually good as not being in a buffoon. Yeah, he did great in Uncut Gems. That's Peak Scotty Blade show. Oh, man. Hi. I made a boo boo. Uh oh. I don't remember what we were doing. The dumb alert got stuck. <laughs> the stupid alert got stuck. Pay attention, this is the last level. Your flaws make you more relatable? I ain't got a damn flaw in my body. I'm the perfect man. That's what the doctor said when I came out of the womb. He smacked my bottom, scrubbed my beard of all the viscera and blood and mucus. And said that there is what every man should aspire to be. The perfect man. Uh. Shut up, Shayla. I think we're good. I don't see any flaws. Scotty was a full grown man apparently. Yeah, I came out six foot, broad shoulders, huge biceps, small wiener, nothing changed. The bell is rung. The lanterns are raised, the moon's out, which means the goons are out and the blades have hunted. Your flaw is too much testosterone? Yeah, my flaw is being too much of a badass. My flaw is I'm too much of a badass. It only took all that long, but we got it. It only took all that long. We came, we saw. It took all that long, but we got it. Thank you to everybody. Uh, Stop. You beat Midnight Mass uh, Albuquerque at least once. We've been Tim. That was such a fun experience. <laughs> 
I wish we knew how many how many anomalies we had found and how many we had missed. Your stats can now be seen in game. Okay. Anomaly checklist. Oh, cool. There's a lot we missed. Mm, we probably found more than half, I would imagine. Can I follow you? Yeah. Uh, Huge, ma'am. Kimber! <laughs> 30 missed? Uh, that's about half. About half. I normally try to cut the show at midnight, but I was a little bit later than I wanted to be because I was Eastern up. We'll do one more round. We should 100% this game. Let's do another round. I want to see all of the anomalies the game has to offer. We'll do another round. If there's some more that's as goofy and dumb as the gun gun style one was. Thank you for your support. You have traveled through Alder Court Station 55 times and identified 32 of 55. So if we've identified 32 of 55, then that means that uh, 55 divided by 2 and 20, 22.5, 25 goes into 50 twice, so 55, 26, 26.5, so we, that's half, and then it's not quite three quarters, so we found two, we have found two thirds, we found two thirds, of the anomalies so far. 58%. That's why you're in cells, Ted. And I just hit things with a stick. <laughs> yeah. Big brain moves. I like your hair. We got a new Blade Master to welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Somebody has been a hero to someone else. As your dirty thought. Damn it. Your dirty thoughts has gifted a membership to Michael D. Let us all welcome up Blade Master Michael to the Hall of Heroes. Fill the skies. Let your eagles fly. And thank you so very much to your dirty thoughts for taking care of your community, buddy. And thank you. Fake Jerry, I will find you. I will harm you. I will hurt you. And so help me, I will take your copy of WWE 2K24 and I will smash it over my knee and then spear it like Goldberg, tombstone it like Gary Upchick, And then I'll make it bleed like The Rock did to Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Take that, Cody, you blonde-headed jawline jerk. Rock Nation! Gary the Snail. You hate Cody Rhodes? Really? I don't care one way or the other. I was just joking. Yeah, the Undertaker was Tombstone, not the pizza. The wrestling move. Tombstone pizza. Wasn't that the Red Baron? No, Tombstone is its own pizza. Whatever. Unsubscribe. You should be able to act like a tough guy with a lisp. Well, that's not very nice. His dad had a lisp too. His dad 
had a horrible time communicating. <laughs> you shouldn't allowed to be tough if you wear brown pants. <laughs> what the heck? Coming from a Brenda. You can't be tough if your lips are too thick. What? It's been four years. You're not going to unsubscribe now? Oh, you could. We have a uh, severance package. It's pretty good. I didn't see a. I didn't see an anomaly. Do you do exit interviews? Oh yeah. I want to know the good, the bad, and the ugly about what it's like to work for the League of Blades. There's a severance package? Yeah, chop off your arms. The little words on the posters? Maybe. Passengers are reminded that if they play this game, Midnight Monitor all the cards on a Steam Deck. Will spawn on the seats underneath the timeline. Thank you. I've seen weirder. Can you kick her with the ball? Yeah, I have several times tonight. It don't do anything to her. Wait a second. The potted plants are missing.
the Kako tribe. The Gakko Tribe. I think we're good. I didn't. Where? Where was the anomaly? No. No idea where the anomaly was. Where could the anomaly have been? Was it supposed to be Yala Brick Road? Yeah. Yeah. Get out the way! Okay, that was pretty cool. Have we been checking electronic display? Not closely. Got milkies. Do you canoe? Oh yeah, this is the soccer one again. I can't stand that commercial. The dude's sitting on the couch and he's scrolling through his phone to delete pictures of his family. And they start singing back to him. There's the baby one again. We're not getting no new anomalies. Good night. Be safe. So this is one that trips me out. 
We're getting a bunch of repeat anomalies. That ain't no good. I thought we had it clicked to prioritize... Ooh. I thought we had it clicked to prioritize new anomalies. Money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. It makes me wanna dribble dribble, you know. Ride it in my fear, you really have to see it. It's not a scrotum, that's his belly. Get salad fingers, a coat. I still haven't forgiven you about your bad take on Luke Skywalker, Brian. Passengers are reminded that if they did anything differently, nothing would have turned out any different in the end. Shoot. Life is a funny way of doing that. Yeah! Stands outside window, breathes heavily, fog on the window. Uh. Hey, sexy lady! Uh. Lose what game? Is Pink Girl an anomaly? Yeah. Yeah, she is. That's what got Keller to come out of the bushes and somebody said Mary Sue. Hey, Keller. Folks, we're getting close to wrapping up the broadcast tonight. If you've not done so yet, don't forget to leave a like on the broadcast. Every like is more fuel. The blade bomb. That's it, we've only got 39 of 55. 
I could have sworn we've made more progress than this. How do you mark anomalies? I'm not sure. I don't know if you can. They did give me repeats, yeah. I think she had to touch me. I couldn't get out last time. Correct! Lot of repeats. Yeah, a lot of repeats. <laughs> That's a new breed of cat called dog. That's a fluffy kitty. I feel pretty good that this is normal. Feeling pretty good. Feeling fake, Jerry. Just play the dang game, man. You don't have to keep closing it down and relaunching it, you maniac. Damn it, fake Jerry! Don't forget to subscribe to Scotty's OnlyFans where he posts pictures of anomalies. I'm not doing OnlyFans for another three years until my seven-year period is over with. Or I can't be subpoenaed to anything anymore. Oh, yeah, okay, that killed me last time. Let's not go through the door. Then I'll do OnlyFans. So Papa's going to write a strongly worded DM to Jerry. Hey, Jerry. 
It's me. Just turn the game on. It's not going to run any better if you cut it off and cut it on 30 times. It's a wrestling game, which is already a waste of your time and mine. That was a new one, Emily. <laughs> Jerry! He's probably shutting it off right before he loses those record stats undefeated like a loser. What a loser! I love fake Jerry. I'm just picking on him. There is no escape. You will die. Adam Sandler's working on a sequel for Happy Gilmore. Yep. And it's the biggest rematch rivalry in the history of sports entertainment. Shooter McGavin versus Happy Gilmore. Do the posters seem bigger to you guys? Yeah, I think they're bigger. They do be funky. They funky, that chunky monkey, they be funky. We made it. There's not an anomaly game yet that we haven't beat. Oh yeah, there's not an anomaly game yet we haven't beat. Take the ball to the victory trophy. I'll nail it to the wall. The trophy room. The head of the CIA has finally given up the green light for a virtuous mission as they traverse through all the core stations. Thank you for playing. Very good. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, everybody. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you all for joining us on tonight's adventure. Thank you so much for hanging out with the League of Blades, whether you came here for some rest, relaxation, or you joined in on the fun through entertainment, through sending us blurps. Thank you guys for all the blurps tonight. Thank you to all of my heroes who sent super chats. Your Dirty Thoughts, Marcelo Gifton Membership, Nick Van Syce, Carl Murray, Mai Tai, Jolene Banana Lady, Natalie, Jared Magic Man, Alan Sears, Joshua Rivera. Thanks for subscribing and welcome. Did you 100% the other game? Did you know to the school? Yes, we 100%ed the other Observation Duty game. We did. We did. Thank you, everybody, that laughed, liked, or lurked with us and made some memories tonight. Scotty cleaned up his desktop icon. I did. Look how clean and smooth that is now. Wow, that keeps getting on there. There we go. I don't know how that keeps getting on there. 
Be back again tomorrow. Dragon's Dogma and something else. I don't know what else I got planned for tomorrow. But Dragon's Dogma and something else. I'll think of something. I always do. Tell the Sam man I said hi. Goodbye.